What is going on, YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from Endertech Black Spadacom right now with AT&T Galaxy S3, and right now we're going to compare official ICS on this Galaxy S3 and Jelly Bean, the latest 4.1.2 update from AT&T on this Jelly Bean. So let's go ahead and get to the process. First of all. This is the lock screen. As you can see, only four icons on this one, five on this one. They both are stock. And uh, this one is rooted, this one is not. So it, it wouldn't make any difference because the root is only there to have a couple of applications. I did not remove any applications or anything. This one hasn't been removed any application either. They all have all the bloatware from AT&T. The rules is I'm only going to talk about big updates i'm not going to talk about some small features that got added i'm just going to talk about project butter and why it's smooth as butter and why people really appreciate the jelly bean over ics so let's go ahead and get to the actual comparison as you can see both of the lock screen looks same when you unlock it this is the home screen again same but when you pull down the menu Again, 4.1.1. These are the toggles. We are going to go to setting. Go above phone. And there you can see for the one that one on this side and four that or that four on there i only have like a font changed out so let me go ahead and reset in my font under display and font default so they both look same so now this is the bigger update the task manager if you can see remove all is right here and this is the garbage can or trash can another thing you notice is the middle which says g which represents google now that has been enabled by samsung in your latest update galaxy s3 if you press that it right up right away brings you the google now applications and tap the microphone lakers and it will start the Lakers lost for... to the Cavaliers 100 to 94. They are playing the Knicks today at 7 p.m. Yeah, Lakers doing bad. What can I do? But that's another shortcut. Another one is keep pressing menu, and you will go in Google Now right away. There is no Google Now on this one unless you install it from the Play Store. And I am not sure if you can do that or not. Other update includes. When you're setting up the lock screen or home screen, I'm sorry. If you take any of the widget and move it over, it will move it itself, the other widgets. And if you want to do it here, you won't do that. So you can see that it's kind of useful if you're lazy like me so that is another update everything else looks the same when you go start browsing and start using your phone that's when you actually see what project butter is like when you open up browser This one is on XDA. I was trying to flash the kernel. And this one is eBay. So you can see both the difference. They both are running on my home Wi Fi. And uh, let me go ahead and download Quadrant or Entity and we will run that. So I got the benchmark applications. First of all, we are going to hold down. Uh, home button and remove all applications 
once that is done we are going to go to the application itself open that up and test again start the test I know I started a different time but the end result will give you the perfect score for comparison Some settings has been changed as well that uh, Jelly Bean got blocky mode and uh, home screen mode. One of the best thing about having Android is that your custom ROM developers like Cyanogenmod and AOKP and their open can project, whatever they develop, Android and Google kind of takes from it and uh, develops their own uh, feature. Like when you take, when you're writing essay, when you paraphrase something off someone else, that's what Android is doing. So that's really great that you don't have to have a root in order to get some features. Like block mode was uh, profile schedules on a Jelly Bean or ICS Cyanogen My ROMs, and AOKP had same thing too. Like you can schedule and uh, it will turn off all your notification and stuff when you're in meeting so it will be the phone will be in silent it will go in airplane mode and all that stuff now you can do that in blocking mode in galaxy s3 because J jelly bean is letting you have that feature so again that's really good before like screen set you you needed to root your phone in order to do the screen uh, get screen set off your phone but now you can hold down power and the home button and take screenshot off your phone as you can see the FPS and it will be a couple of minutes before it gets done Both of them are doing internal SD card, so the score doesn't get mixed up with external or internal SD card. So we'll see which one is running great. And both of them have all the bloatware, nothing got deleted from any of the ICS or Jelly Bean. almost done here on the jelly bean part because I started that earlier and the ICS is catching up literally behind it too 11,122 and only 8239 so you see this is why it's called project butter everything is smooth in here now the setting I was talking about is let's go ahead and go to setting and this too under device you got your home screen mode which offers you two this is the basic mode provides a convenient layout and this is the easy mode easier experience of your home screen as it says right there then under blocking mode I was, as I was explaining before you can turn on blocking mode which will block or whatever notification you want it to be blocked so these are the two another two main features that got included in Jelly Bean overall it looks same you're not gonna find anything close to this one this is your GSM Galaxy Nexus and right now I'm just uh, restoring the full pure Android which will be on Galaxy Nexus and I'll do comparison with TouchWiz Jelly Bean versus pure Jelly Bean so this was just a little comparison between ICS and 
Jellybean. If I forgot a couple of features or if I have not noticed any features, please go ahead and comment and give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.